Hello my fellow hirelings of House Telvani, I'm Nelof, and today I want to talk about the new location coming out in ESO's newest chapter called Necrom, which will be visiting the Telvani Peninsula and also the city of, you guessed it, Necrom. I thought it would be a cool idea to analyze the Telvani Peninsula and give you as much information that is available to me, before you may or may not dive into the DLC, which will be coming out in a few days if you are on PC, but if you are on console like me, it will be coming out in a fucking month. But enough of that, let us analyze the geography and locations of the Telvani Peninsula. The Telvani Peninsula is located on the eastern side of Morrowind, forming what one would consider an arm. The Telvani Peninsula presumably makes up the north end of the arm at Firewatch, all the way to the border of Deshaun, the land where Mournhold makes its home. Now, the Telvani Peninsula, as of the second era where the game takes place, ESO that is, is controlled by, obviously, the Thalmor. I'm just kidding, the area is actually controlled by the Telvani, with the exception of the city of Necrom, which is seen more as neutral territory. What is interesting is by the third and fourth era, the Telvani actually lost control of the peninsula, and is now controlled by either House Indoril or House Drez, but more likely the former. This is likely because after the eruption of Red Mountain and House Hlalu was dismissed and House Sadris introduced, there was a lot of land disputes and in the aftermath, Telvani just simply got the short end of the stick and no longer have any territory on the mainland. However, the Telvani are very isolationist and don't give a fuck about borders, so they likely do not care about this situation. The environment of the Telvani Peninsula is quite rocky, and very dry in the northern section while very temperate in the southern section. Individuals who live in the northern dry sections also wear a unique piece of clothing called Dust Adept Clothing. This clothing has a breathing mask that covers the face, which likely makes breathing the air in that region more bearable. There are also a ton of mushrooms around the peninsula, because we Morrowind Telvani nerds love that shit. And hey, I'm satisfied so far, with the exception of the ugly design on the Telvani towers that looks nothing like how they are in Morrowind and Skyrim, but that's for a different video. As of the second era when the Telvanni controlled the area, it seems that they stick more to the southern side because that is where the Telvanni tower called Tel Dreloth is located. However, the Telvanni could be acquiring power and doing business outside of Tel Dreloth, like the dwarven ruins of Kenelze, which is far north of the Telvanni home base. There is also supposedly a vampire clan that makes its home on the peninsula called the Bathagorgon, whom have the power to shapeshift into nearly anything. I say supposedly because the sources for this clan on the wiki are straight up just trust me bro, so take that information with a grain of salt. The Bathagorgon clan, whom likely need a bath, seem to have gone extinct in the late Second Era, so there is a slight chance that we the players in ESO can help this clan on the path to extinction. Now to the city of Necrom, which is what the Elder Scrolls Online DLC is named after. Necrom is famous in Morrowind because of its Dunmary tradition for families to bring their deceased relatives in either coffins or urns for solemn processions, which is just a fancy way of saying ceremony, and these ceremonies typically last for months. So many Dunmer bring their deceased to Necrom that the cremation chambers are said to run day and night. That's a lot of burning right there. The city of Necrom specifically is quite interesting because it is similar to Mournhold and features a great many white buildings and tall towers with mighty walls protecting the city, and have a very Japanese aesthetic to them. The city of Necrom is ironic because while it is called the City of the Dead, it is actually a bustling city with a sizable living population, and is governed by an intricate hierarchy of tribunal priests. Because the city of Necrom is governed by tribunal priests, its influence is more fixated with the tribunal temple rather than one of the five great houses of Morrowind, and is seen as independent in its own right. 
This is more interesting because the city of Necrom was actually founded before the Tribunal Temple had been established, and has more Chimeri influence rather than Dunmeri. How the city is governed after the fall of the Tribunal Temple remains quite a mystery, but I theorize that the city is either governed by House Indoril, or the Reclamation Priests who worship the Three Good Daedra, or maybe a mix of both. According to the Tribunal Temple and Vivek, Necrom was built from the remains of a monster named Gulga Mojil, whom was the eighth most powerful creature that Vivek ever fought. Vivek recited a poem to this monster, saying, The fire is mine, let it consume thee, and make a secret door at the altar of Padum, in the house of Boet Hia, where we become safe and looked after. Afterwards, the monster straight up let Vivek kill him, which I find to be quite funny. However, this is all subjective, as the story could be false, because, you know, Vivek gotta be Vivek. Someday I really gotta read the 36 lessons of Vivek. Some notable locations inside the city are the Catacombs of Necrom, the Necrom Graveyard, the Necrom Palace, the Tabav Fortress, and the Cemetery Temple Monastery. And that is all the information I could find on the Telvane Peninsula. I have certain issues with ESO, however as a Telvani simp, I am very excited for a DLC that is about one of my favorite Daedric Princes and my favorite faction in all of creation, the Telvani. Sadly, I don't believe we will be meeting the sexiest Myr that is Neloth, which I find to be very disheartening, considering he should be the same age as the rest of the counselors like Gothrin and Thorana. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there is some information I missed or didn't know about the Telvanni Peninsula and Necrom, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And also make sure to like the like button, like the subscribe button, and like the bell notification down below to be notified on future videos. And I will see you whenever the fuck I decide to upload again. House Telvanni be with you. Please, O oh hero of Skyrim, I shall be ever so grateful.